All right, so we want to solve for x. All right, solve for x. I'm going to put up an equation up there. And the most important thing that you have to remember is this. Y'all know it as PEMDAS. I say le PEMDAS as if it's French, okay? And the reason being is that a lot of people forget about the like terms. Y'all remember, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally or parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. But a lot of folks forget about the like terms. So we just go French style, which is really not. It's my style, le PEMDAS. All right, so let's say we had a situation where we had 4x plus 9 equals 10 minus 6x, right? Now, if you look at this, you have an equation. And the first thing I want to look at before even, before, first thing I want to look at before even uh, doing anything else is go to Le PEMDAS. And I want to look firstly for like terms. So I have four terms. Remember, terms are separated by plus, minus, or an equal sign. So that means I have one, two, three, four terms. And I want to see out of the four terms, which ones are like terms. So like term, 4x. Okay, let's see what's a like term with that. Is it 9? Nope. 10? Nope. Negative 6x. Yes. All right. The reason they're like terms again is because a like term has the same variable and the same exponent, all right? So the variable is x, they have the same one, and then the exponent is, is nothing there, but if we did put something there, the equivalent would be a one, all right? So they have the same exponent and they have the same variable. So here we go. These two like terms are not on the same side of the equal sign. The six, the negative six X is not over here with the four X. The four X is not over here with the negative six X. So we can't just simply just say, okay, four X minus six X. That's not gonna work because they're not on the same side. We have to get them on the same side. And there's a way to do that. You could look at it like that, or you could say, well, we combine them on opposite sides, but we just have to use the opposite sign. Or really, you say the opposite operation. So how do we do that? I have a 4x over here and a negative 6 over here. I'm just going to change the sign. I like to change the sign of the lower number most of the time. Just to avoid negatives as much as possible. All right. So we added 6x on one side. Underneath its like term. That's all we're dealing with is the like terms. All right. And now we can start working. So... Negative 6 plus 6x is going to be 0. 4x plus 6x is 10x. And then after I make that move and I solve there, I'm going to bring everything else that I did not touch down. This is a very important step that a lot of young folks don't always want to do. They just want to skip past it. No, bring everything down. Okay? Make sure that's connected better. Bring everything down. All right? Now, we brought everything down. As soon as we bring everything down, I want to run right back to Le PEMDAS. I'm going right back to it. I'm not going to start to figure anything else. I'm going right back to it. Like terms, do I have any in this new line? The answer is yes, of course I do. Let's look, 10x, now nah, nothing else is a like term with that. What about nine? Yep, 10 is a like term, so I'm going to circle those. Okay, again, they're on opposite sides of the equal sign. So that means I have to use the opposite operation. Okay, operation happening here is plus. Operation happening here, this is a positive. All right, you know what? Let's go with the smaller number and change it to minus nine on both sides. I just get in the habit of just crossing it right out because you know that's the whole point. You gotta cross out one value, that's the point. All right, 10 minus nine is gonna be one. I'm bringing everything else down I didn't touch, okay? Equal sign, 10x. Now, last step. Okay, let's look here. We brought everything down, right back up to Le PEMDAS. Right back up. Okay, so we got 10x equal 1. 
Like terms? Nope. You got 10x and you got one. They're not like terms. Parentheses? Nope, no parentheses. Exponents? Nope, no exponents. Multiplication? Yes, there's multiplication. Well, you like, well, where do I don't see a multiplication sign? That's all right. When you have a number directly connected right next to a letter, a variable, in other words, that is multiplication. Okay? And we want to get x by itself. Remember, solve for x. We want to get x by itself. So we're going to use the opposite operation that we see. So we got 10x here. Opposite of multiplication is division. We divide both sides by 10. 10 divided by 10 is 1. We don't need a 1 in front of that x. It's the same thing. x equal 1 over 10 is going to be 0.10. And that is... Your final answer. X is equal to 0.10. Like, comment, subscribe for more videos.